Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to what shall we do next and today this could be my favorite video I've ever made as you guys know I am a big fan of root beer and today I'm gonna be taste testing six different types of root beer and I'm excited I can't lie I just thought it would be fun to do something different so I have a bunch of different ones here and um, my personal favorite I have tried most of these uh, there's a couple of unusual ones like this one right here and this one um, I've never tried those before, but I'm usually an A&W guy. I usually just drink A&W. So I'm going to be taste testing them and see which of these is the ultimate root beer. So I'm really curious about this one. I can't lie. I've had it for a while. I've been wanting to try it. This is uh, Bundaberg Australian Root Beer. Invert bottle before opening. What? It's a, it, This is literally a glass bottle too, so I don't know what invert the bottle means. What does that mean? Like turn it inside out? I'm assuming you just pull on this. I'll pull on it and hope for the best. I'll figure it out. Don't worry guys. Craft brewed over three days. So there's a little kangaroo right there. So that's pretty cute. Whoa. Oh, okay. There was a little bit of an explosion there. Pull tab to open. Okay. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. Oh, I did it. Cheers. Here is to the Australian root beer. Okay doesn't smell like root beer it doesn't have that like medicinal smell that like a typical root beer has this kind of gives off a it's a very pleasant smell wow what does, what does that smell like it smells very familiar but i can't really it's not like root beer at all but it's like something else but it's something very familiar it's like a licorice smell it's it smells a little bit like licorice Okay, well, here we go. I'm going in for the test. Oh, whoa, hang on a minute. Like, for a second, I thought it had alcohol, but it doesn't. It's carbonated sars sarsaparilla, vanilla, ginger, licorice, flavored drink with sugar and sweetener. There's a lot of sugars in here. Um, but it says right here, Bundaberg root beer is brewed to a genuine old recipe using a real ingredients to deliver the authentic taste of yesteryear. The unique taste comes from the flavors of sarsaparilla, root, molasses, licorice root, and vanilla beans. This is interesting. Like, I've never tasted... Mmm. It's good, but it tastes... It, that is not root beer like that is not how i'm used to it that is something else but it's good i don't even know how to like compare it to something it doesn't really taste like you can compare it to anything but i, I gotta say it's very pleasant it's smooth it's very very sweet um it's got like a like a very subtle licorice taste that's the only thing that's really standing out to me <clears throat> sweet mary i guess the next one i want to try is this one this one's like it's slightly smaller than the other ones. Okay, these ones have 330 milliliters and this one has 355. Like these are like the standard and this one's like a little smaller, but this one's also I got from an international like food place, but this one says Colorado born. We started Soda Folk, which is the brand. We started Soda Folk to introduce the world to the king of tasty craft sodas. I grew up drinking in Colorado made with love using only the finest ingredients we think they're best soft drinks around we are pretty sure you will too now this one says made in the uk so this one's actually like imported from the uk <sighs> a little dusty i've had it a while this one's actually made with maple syrup so i'm not sure <sighs> okay here we go i'm gonna give it a try oh wow oh that smells good that is not like a root beer smell either that's not a typical root beer this smells just like a bottle of aunt jemima <laughs> this smells like i've just cracked open a bottle of aunt jemima syrup it smells like this could go on a pancake this smells good wow it's like a very smoky maple syrupy smell okay here we go for the taste test cheers soda folk
<laughs> wow. That's a yikes from me, boys. I mean, this one's like, oh my God, it's so incredibly sweet. Yikes, that brought a tear to my eye. I wasn't expecting that. This does not, first of all, does not taste like root beer. It's definitely root beer, right? Yeah, it says right here, Soda Folk Root Beer. It's not root beer. It tastes like literally maple syrup. I feel like I'm drinking a carbonated maple syrup. It That's all I can taste. It's so overpowering and it's so like dense, I guess, and like thick. Um, it's left like this sugary, sweet residue around my teeth, around my mouth. Let's go for another one. Mm. I mean, it tastes nice, but it's like, it's incredibly sweet. Like, I don't think, and it doesn't taste like root beer. If I bought this, I would never think in a million years that it was a root beer. It's incredibly sweet. Like, that's unbelievable. It's just like drinking pure sugar. Like, there is no, there is no, not even like the tiniest little hint of root beer in that. I guess it's good for a little sweet treat, but I wouldn't say it's, it's something I can drink an entire can of. I don't know, but it's like extremely sweet. I feel like that made me feel a little sick actually, but this is Soda Folk Root Beer. Okay, so far that one is not doing too good. I would definitely put that down here. I'm gonna try and put them in order. Um, this one, I don't know yet. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like a root beer. So I'm gonna put that like in second, I guess. Now we're left with, I guess we can try a Barks. Um, haven't had barks in a long time. I like their little slogan too. It just just simply says right there, it's good <laughs> since what 1898. So it's a very old drink. Again, it doesn't really I mean it smells like root beer, but it smells a little more like Listerine. Like it smells like a mouthwash. Which I guess root beer does. Uh it does have that like medicinal smell. That's what you know is gonna be a good root beer. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely got like a kind of a toothpaste-y smell. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's very th foamy, it's, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Talking to you over there, soda folk. Um, this is very, uh, it's very pleasant on the palate. I guess it's not too like overpowering, um, like the, the, the taste and the smell of that, like the medicinal taste. It's not like overwhelming. It's very subtle. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I, I guess this is pretty good. I guess so far I would put it in this specific order. Um, so I would have the Soda Folk last, the Australian one second. That was pretty good, but it's, it's just, the only thing I'm going by is it's a good, tr it's a good drink. It's a good like, sweet treat but i wouldn't say that this tasted like root beer so i would not put it any higher up um though i would say it's a pretty good drink okay now we're gonna go for the a and w who literally drank one of these earlier so i know what it tastes like <sighs> but i'm gonna go for it anyway let's see what a and w can do this is uh made with aged vanilla it used to say on it but now it doesn't it's got no caffeine um where does it say that? It used to say made with aged vanilla, but now it's like, I think they've changed the style of the can slightly. So they've like maybe taken that off, but it's made with aged vanilla. I know that since 1919. So here we go. Mm. Well, goddamn, <laughs> slap my ass and serve me a root beer. It's good. This is about the best so far. It's like, it's very, very uh, vanilla-y. It's very smoky. There's a smokiness. Taste, the medicinal taste is there. It's like a pretty good, like Dr. Pepper maybe with cross with like a Coca-Cola, but like it's also, it's unique, it's different. And it's got like a nice foamy uh, texture in your mouth. It, it kind of just like plays around in your mouth. It's very foamy, um, but I love the vanilla taste in this one. Oh, sweet mother of Abraham Lincoln. That is some good root beer. So this is definitely going at the top so far. I personally, I think 
A&W was always my favorite one. Um, so anytime I would buy a root beer, I typically would go straight to A&W. Okay, this is an old fashioned draft style root beer made by Fago, which I've had like the grape flavor Fago before. I've had like a few of the other flavors like grape and orange and like other ones like that, but I've never tried the root beer, I don't think. I like the can, the can looks pretty fun. I like the font, it's pretty funky. Let's try it. Let's go Fago, let's see what you got for me. Okay. Wait a second. I'm smelling a little. Something's coming back to me here. Is it you? These two smell very similar. Um, Barks root beer and Fago root beer smell almost identical. They smell almost identical. This one is a lot stronger and it has more of the like medicinal like smell. Um, these two, very similar. All right, let's taste it and see how it tastes. It's pretty good. Um, it's very similar in taste too. It tastes almost, like this one's got a little bit more of a, an aftertaste than this one. This one kind of goes away pretty quickly. It's got nice carbonation, nice flavor, very subtle, not overpowering. It's sweet. It, it lacks, and I think the same with this one, it kind of lacks the foamy, ice creamy taste that the A and W gives you. Um, these two both kind of lack that. Um, and the medicinal taste is not really there either, which I guess if you're not a fan of that, because I know a lot of people say they don't like root beer for that reason, but if you're not a fan of that, then maybe one of these ones could work for you. Well, I guess that's pretty good. I would say it's probably somewhere here. I would say maybe less good than the Barks, um, only because the Barks has a little bit more of a, a, a <coughs> oh, shit. The Barks has a little bit more of an aftertaste. The Fago goes away pretty quickly. It's like, I drink it. It's like, this is good. And then it's like, can't even remember what I just drank because it's gone. Um, but I would still say it's better than this one. And finally, we're going with the big dog. Hello, mug. Come to Papa. So we got a mug root beer here. And um, I know this is a very popular one. A lot of people love mug. All right, sniff test. It's got a very light smell. It's not very strong. Wait. It's less powerful than the A and W. It's less powerful than the Barks, weirdly. Okay, Fago, let's see what you've got. I would say it's got less smell than Fago. What the heck? And Mug is like a really popular one too. Okay, here we go. Let's go for the taste test. Maybe I'm just like my my smell senses are becoming immune to the to the smell of root beer all around me. Mmm. Okay. Oh, that is good. That is a... It's very, very similar. It's got more, weirdly, considering there's not much of a smell. Um, it's got a weaker smell on these two, for sure. These two, I'm kind of like pushing them out a little bit because they don't taste like root beer at all. Um, so it's kind of like between these four. This one doesn't really have as much of a smell as the other three, but the taste, that's where it's at. This one tastes very similar to A and W. And It has that sort of, um, it's sweet, not as sweet as A&W. It's got a foamy texture, like an, a creamy, ice creamy, foamy, vanilla -y, um texture, but not as strong as A&W, but it's still pretty good. They would, I would say the taste is better than these two, but not as good as this one. Okay, that settles it. I know what I gotta do. This is the order of my 
root beer rankings. This right here, going from worst, sorry soda folk, you just taste a little too maple syrupy for me. Australian root beer, I don't know what you are, but you're not root beer, okay? <laughs> Maybe you identify as a root beer, but you're just not there yet. But it's still pretty good though. Um, I guess maybe they just use different ingredients in Australia. They call it root beer, but it's something different. But it is a very pleasant drink. Just on, on the scale of root beers though, I would say it would have to come second. Uh, Fago is pretty good. It's got a very mild taste though. Very kind of weak, kind of watered down. Barks is similar, but a little bit more of a taste and a flavor. Mug is very good. Um, very similar to, in my opinion, the superior, the winner, a and w a and w just has everything going for it the flavor the texture the the foaminess the there's like a smoky ice creamy vanillary and the, the carbonation is just perfect the the aftertaste is perfect it's not over sweet it's not under sweet it's not overpowering with the the medicinal taste but it's just perfect like everything about this one perfect the others this one's pretty good too these two, I, I would be, I wouldn't be upset if they didn't have anything else, and I had to buy one of these. Um, the Australian one was interesting. I would be upset if I bought it thinking like, oh, I fancy a root beer today, and I bought this. I would be upset. However, if I was just after like a soft drink and I wanted to try something new, this would be a very pleasant surprise. This one, very, very sweet and sickly. Mm, not a fan of it really. Um, though I do think it might be like weirdly. I guess if it's like, if it was a little thicker, it would just taste like maple syrup. That's all I could taste out of this one. So this is it. This is my root beer rating order from worst to best. So A&W, you win. Cheers. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section, do you enjoy root beer? If you do, which brand do you typically get? But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a like on it. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media. Or I will fucking die Oh yeah!